Hi, in today's video I'm gonna talk about Boolean logic and logic gates. Boolean logic is a branch of algebra introduced by George Boole in which the value of the variables are true and false, denoted also as 1 and 0 respectively. The operation Boolean logic are conjunction and disjunction or and negation not. So these um, three logics, Boolean logic, can be represented also with these three symbols. This one for and, this was for or, and this was for not. And we are going to see how to perform this operation inside Max. Also, uh, the logic gate is a device based on Boolean algebra that acts as a building block of for digital circuits used in most of the electronic devices we use every day. Logic gates make decisions based on a combination of digital signals coming from their inputs. Since we are talking about programming, it's better to explain it in a digital context, so we'll have a look how logic gates work in Max. So, as I said, let's start with uh, the AND operator. And uh, in order to perform it, we have to start with the toggle object. Because this toggle, uh, as you know, already it outputs 1 and 0. So this is basically the Boolean uh, or logic word. And we are going to process this output through these three oper operators. So let's create a new object and let's call it and let's type in here to hand, which perform a logical end. So we connect the object here and um, what we want to do is like evaluate um, the result by giving two numbers. So this uh, Boolean logic or logic gates um, are based on a table of uh, truth, truth uh, which um, can be described as uh, this. If input one and input 2 is equal to 1, the result is going to be 1. If input 1 and input 2 is, uh, if it input 1 is 1 and input 2 is 0, the result is going to be 0. As if it's 0 and this is 1, it's gonna, the result is going to be 0, and if this is 0 and this is 0, um, the result is going to be 0. So, two through, through, two through values um, output true, otherwise the output is false. It can be it can be summed up in in this way. So um, let's maybe copy um, in a comment the logic something like this. So we want to perform this result here. Let me just fix this. Okay, let's align them properly. So, in the other um, input, we want to also send a toggle value. And uh, as you can see here, again, as uh, we have seen in the previous videos, um, we have two types of inputs, a cold and a, and a halt, which means that we have to first send a value here and then send it back. Uh, send the other one here. So um, what we want to do is to create another bank, uh, another toggle, and send, and then and then uh, make another object um, with trigger. So trigger a bank and before an integer. So we are gonna send this value here first to this and secondly um, uh, the bank here just to output the value 
which is going to give us more freedom to um, operate with both um, toggle objects uh, without considering the distinction between hot and hot, uh, cold and hot uh, inlet. Let's put also a toggle in the output. So if this is one and this is also one, the output is one. I can also send the output here as a integer. And so if it's one, it is one. If this is one and this is zero, the result is zero. If this is zero and this is one, the result is zero. And if both are zero, the result is going to be zero. Then, if we want to operate a logical OR, or at this junction, we have to, we can just take uh, this block, copy it and paste it here. And also, let's be sure that we uh, put a comment here just to uh, clarify that this is an AND, and this is a OR. And here, we have to type this symbol here. Um, I don't know which kind of keyboard you're using, uh, but now I'm using a German keyboard and uh, to uh, call this um, um, this symbol here, to type this symbol, I have to press uh, option and then seven, which has a slash. So if we have option plus slash, we get this uh, this symbol here and we have to type two of them in order to um, perform a logical null. So the logical no uh, the logical or uh, is based on this table of truth uh, which is this one. And so, the output is true if either or both of the inputs are true. If both inputs are false, then the output is false. That's what it's saying. So, if I have a 1 and 1, the output is going to be 1. If I have 1 and 0, the output is going to be 1. If I have 0 and 1, the output is going to be 1. If I both 0, the output is going to be 0. Then, if we want to perform a negation, a Boolean negation, uh, or a logical not, uh, we um, have to copy this block. Let's also put here a not. And uh, let's also make a new comment that explains the table of truth and the actual not is very simple it's a logical inverter sometimes called a note gate and, uh, which has only one input and it reverses the logical state if the input is one then the output is zero if the input is zero then the output is one so Actually, we don't need all of this. We are going to put just a equal equal zero to perform that. And uh, we can say that if it's if this is one, the output is going to be zero. If this is zero, the output is going to be one. So we basically invert the, the number. And since we have just two uh, values, you know, if it's one is zero, if it's zero is one. So I hope that was useful um, knowing about logical uh, states and logical logic gates. And we are going to see in the next video um, the other um, Boolean uh, logic gates, uh, which are in total seven. We have seen just three of them. And the others um, are the XOR, the NAND, and NOR, and XNOR. So 
have a good Monday and see you next week. Bye. Thank you.